What's up guys, welcome back. And we're here today at the Guam Art Exhibition. This hasn't been around since 2018. It's been a, like a five to six years hiatus. This is GAX now. It's open now, the 20th till the 30th. Today's the grand opening of this Guam Art Exhibition, GAX now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give you a virtual tour. I've been going to these since DNA Evolution and this whole, you know, whatever, since 2012, I believe, that is when it GAX actually started. I know the art curators are different now, but we have some friends that are in there still. We're gonna go ahead and check out their art. Uh, I'm gonna give you this virtual tour like I always do. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go check it out. All right, so it's here at the place. Uh, it used to be the Cold Plaza, but this is the place here in Tumon, uh, Tumon Guam. Uh, let me go show you and check it out. So I got some cool free pins and it's open bar over there. That's pretty cool. And then there's all these cool stuff and there's Gax featured artists right here. So if you want to see who they are, this is who they are. Oh, really? There are some missing. If you, if you find any others, please tell us. Oh, okay. Nice to see you. All right, so they have an open bar. As you saw, you got this cool, we got this cool wristband and all that stuff. They serve wine. These are the wines that they have. And also some uh, beer that they got going on. They got Blue Moon and they got, I think, Fizzy. I'm not so sure what it is. Uh, but yeah, they even have some water. I just got a free water. That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, so they also have this cool uh, Karor State Government View Eco Palau or Palau Eco Glass that they're going to have in there. That's pretty cool. And then again, like I said, there's the featured artists that they have. And there's also a food truck outside called Pono. We'll go ahead and check out the gallery in a bit. All right, guys, this is the Guam Art Exhibition Gax Now. Let's go give you a virtual tour of this cool place. Hi, I'm doing a virtual tour. I'm vlogging it. I'll see you later. All right, again, so we have many friends. I'm not sure if the music is crazy, but we'll give you a virtual tour around and show you all the cool stuff here at Gax Now. There's also this Palau Eco Glass thing that I showed you earlier in the beginning. Very beautiful. Also, you know that Palau is known for that jellyfish lake. These are pretty cool. These are the ones that in Palau, there's this like uh, lagoon where you can swim in and the uh, jellyfish won't sting you. Very popular in Palau. So it's very beautiful also, as you can see all this glass works that they have right here. All right, we'll go ahead and start on this side right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, I gotta zoom in for this. All right, so I'm not so sure how crazy this uh, DJ is going off at, but we have some artworks here. I think this one is called Flo Sam. And over here we have Mango Kaiju. They have numbers to it. I'm thinking these are also for sale and purchase that you can buy. This one is called The Giving Tree. We're gonna go ahead and kind of show you around because it's kind of crazy here at opening night. Beautiful pictures over here. What's crazy is I don't see the names of these artists of who's the one that took them or who's the one that made these uh, pictures or artwork. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think this one here actually has her own artist, Joanne Alamas Jose. We'll go ahead and give you a virtual tour around uh, this place. I think this one is by Crank. Hell yeah, shout out to Crank. Crank the Crank. Crank Knives. Okay. Uh, I don't really know who the artist is, but it's really nice seeing these artworks. Look how detailed it is, you know? We're gonna go ahead and go into this part of the uh, exhibition, which has not only photos, but little cool uh, things. Again, like I said, uh, it's only missing the artist's name, you know? Maybe that's the concept of this. It's not about who it is, it's just their artwork being shown. But it's nice to still give credit to whose artwork it is that I'm looking at and seeing uh, here at the Gax Art Exhibition. All right. Oh, I love this. You know me, I love Japan. So even like even photos of Japan go pretty well. This one's cool. I know this one is done by one of my older neighbors when I used to live in Harmon. This is probably done by Zard. Uh, it's cool because it's like 3D. 
Fiesta plate, which is really loved on Guam. This one is top silog. It's tapa and it log, which is egg. And of course, garlic rice and the vinegar. That's very cool. I'm not sure, sure if there's anything around it. No, there's nothing back there. But we'll go ahead and check out more. It is, again, very, very busy up in here. Beautiful artworks. We play God and in our own image, we make machines. That's awesome. This is great artwork over here as well. Again, we're just going around checking out Sig Wars Warrior. Very cool. And again, I don't know who did this one, but it's pretty gnarly. You know, this black and white, and here's like color. Uh, this one is, of course, more photos. There's even one down here. This one reminds me of like Yokohama Bay, but uh, can't really see it. I'm not so sure what the, this one is cool. It's like clear. You can see like some Spider-Man. This reminds me of, uh, I think his name is Jappy. Jappy artwork from Philippines, but I'm not so sure who is this one. But pretty cool, you know, nonetheless. Oh, Andro. I think that's his name. That's Zamy Zamora, Joker, and Julia Byrne. I like how they have their names actually, of the, the artists here, you know? Up here we have Breeze. I'm not so sure if maybe that's part of Jamie Zamora's artwork. And I like this Carabao boy. Very cool. Carabao boy. Oh, damn. This one's cool. This reminds me of uh, one of that famous artists. Uh, he's a singer. I uh, forgot his name, but he also did a graphic for Zero. And he does... I uh, forgot his name, but Dane Berman loves this guy. That's cool. This one is rad. I do love horror stuff. We got Freddy. We got Pennywise. And we got Jason. Continue on with this tour and check out more art. This one's also Julia Byrne. Hopefully I'm saying her last name right. Pretty crazy. There she is, Julia Byrne, Gax featured artist. This one looks familiar. This might be my, my friend Jeff's own. I'm not so sure if they're the same artist, but my, my friend does somewhat similar to this. We'll continue on. Awesome. All right, Oka's Point. Shay Cardova. This is her artwork over here. We have Heath Rising, Heat Rising, Energies, and more. It's nice to appreciate all this. This one is kind of gnarly. I'm not so sure what it is. They actually dug up the floor for this one. This art exhibit looks crazy. They dug up the floor just for this. And whoever artist is does all this and doing all their cool stuff. It's very cool. This might be by Jeff. Who knows? Yeah. The pit. I got these cool portraits. I'm not sure who did them, but it's a pretty cool vid. This one is rad. It's like all these faces. Monatao, Sangulan, Chamorros from the Marianas. And it has all these beautiful faces, which creates one beautiful Chamorro warrior. Very cool. Okay, we'll continue on. Check out these photos. And you know me, I do love anything kind of Asia, Asia Pacific, Tokyo Dream over here. Very cool artwork, great photos. We'll continue on to the next uh, thing. I'm not so sure where. I don't know my route for this, but we're going ahead and try to show you all we can. Like 
This one right here is called Garden of Butterflies by... Yeah. There's also this. Oh, by Christina. This is by Tinks. It's the homie Christina that you saw earlier in this video. This one is cool. I do love skateboards, as you all know. It's an interactive... Display is interactive. Oh wow. That is cool, man. Not bad. I'm not sure who this is, but it's great. It's interactive, you know, and that's really cool in, in galleries. Next up, we have Princess Park. Shout out to Miss Park. Yu Yoon Suk Park. She always does these great arts. And what's cool about her artwork, like I always say, is if you see the paint, it always like bubbles up. Like she puts real detail into her paint from Miss Park. That's what I like about her stuff. Because this is like a fish, but her paint, it can't really show you or do justice, but the paint pops out of her paintings, Miss Park. All right, we'll try to see everything. I'm trying not to get copyrighted, but it's okay. Dancing Around the Milky Way by Tinks. It's beautiful, you know, seeing all this artwork. There is a lot of hard detail that has to go into painting. Again, this one is also by Tink. And then we have music playing over here. Hi, half a day. We have... Hinigong Agaga. That's pretty gnarly. Kind of remind me something of uh, like Stranger Things. Uh, this was the turtle. I don't know if you can see it, but it is the turtle to my eyes. This one, I'm not so sure. It just reminds me of like something from Stranger Things. Pretty gnarly. And then we have Mr. Gerald Dwayne Castro. Kahului Kanata. That's cool. They're holding the Galaiti. Yeah, it's really a painting. It's, it's a really good painting. It's very detailed, if you can see it. That's something cool. Uh, this one I've seen before at the... What did I see? That UOG stuff. It's made out of uh, like rubber material and all that stuff. We'll go ahead to the next one right here. Oh no. So Provito. Hell yeah. This is Tangisen or, you know, uh, Mushroom Rock. Tons more. This one's by Naomi Lynn Sinnen. I can't pronounce your name, sorry. And it's a collab with uh, Christina over there. Cool stuff. Okay, so we did the outers. Let's try to show you all the other stuff, that the little pop-ups that they have here. This is by Sarah Johnson. Very cool. Uh, I'm not so sure. Over here is, a, I guess, a lounging area for all the guests here on opening night. This one is by Christelle Uggen. This is cool. I like this kind of like artwork, man. That is awesome. Okay, next one down over here. It's like a blue. It's kind of like reminds me of like a Picasso because Picasso did have his blue era. Uh, yeah. That's cool. It's all in the blue tones. And if you see it really carefully, it's not just like a painting or whatever, a picture. They actually have like cutouts and they post it onto their artwork. I can't, can't really show you it, but it's pretty cool. Good details, good details, you know? This one's cool. I mean, it's kind of gnarly because it's like a real butterfly. All right, we'll go to this next one over. This is by Joy Alama. I think I showed you guys this one. All right, we'll go down to this one. This one's by also Olive Newman. This one's cool. It's looked like she just like dripped it onto the canvas and she like spread it out like oil style, you know? You can really see it. This one has some cutouts of newspaper articles and like a Zuzu crab, some turtles. That's pretty cool. Very cool. We'll continue on to the next, uh, this one over here. I'm not so sure. This one's by Gwen Luz. These are koi fishes. That's pretty cool. 
This is called Fresh Out of Water. That's cool. Oh, this is kind of like fishes. From afar, it's fishes. But up close, it's just abstract. That's cool. All right, next one down. We have Mrs. Park's artwork again. That is really cool. I do love this one. This one looks crazy. It's like really crazy. Invasive Seascape by Yoon Park. Shout out to Miss Yoon. Next one down. We have Kiana Takashi. Takashi. That's cool. Has like a Japanese influence. And this one's cool because it's like um, Santa Maria Camelin, but it also reminds me of like Princess Peach. And we got some uh, kind of like Ghibli inspired stuff. I'm not sure if this is also her, but it reminds me of Jeff's artwork as well. All right, behind me we have more from Julia Byrne. Aluminum. Pretty cool. Next round down. This one's cool. The land as an altar. That's cool. It's like a construction guy doing his thing, cutting up the trees. Or right, I'm not sure what he's doing. But there's like kind of like a spirit going off, and there's another construction dude over here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a pretty cool. We have Joanne Alama Jose right here. This one's rad. I like this. We have travelers and circle of seasons very cool the next one down we have uh market he's also one of those artists for the obra obra artists of guam that's pretty cool self-portrait i guess blue high awesome i know you got like filipino inspired vibes as well creative differences very old school uh, submariner. You have like a chick, maybe a siren going off over there. But yeah, guys, this is like the Gax Arts of it. I think we are good. We did a virtual tour of everything. Let me go check the sides a little bit more. I'll show you outside. Oh, this one's cool. By Jackery Rose Grind. Please don't touch. Home cooking. And it's like a weaving of the fish, the leaves. And then this one is first the last year. Not bad. All right, well, I'll go outside and show you also this uh, food truck that they have. All right, so it's here at the place here in Tumon. They have this one. I think this one's painted by Marcel from way back. I'm not so sure who. Oh yeah, this is the food truck that they have out here. So they have a Pono food truck, which you always see at those cool events. They have Musubi, Island Origiri, Poke, and Teriyaki chicken. That's cool. Heading back in to do one more virtual tour of this place. Right here. Very cool, awesome. I love it. It's a little bit different from what I'm used to compared to the past. I mean, it was really cool. Before, the Gax exhibitions was actually really big and good. Oh, there's some photos of this one. Alright, this one's kind of tucked away. It's hidden. But we'll check this one out. Pretty cool. I'm not so sure who did this artwork, but it's pretty cool. So that's a virtual tour of Guam Art Exhibition Wax now, which is, has changed so much in the past. Like it has changed so much from the past that it looks totally different from how it was uh, maybe like a few years back, like maybe a decade ago of how this place used to look of Gax. What I'm used to is a whole new different, different area for Gax. And it's pretty cool. Congrats to all artists and stuff. And the exhibition goes off until the 20th. Or well, starts the 20th till the 30th of this end of this uh, month. So go ahead and come check it out. You have a lot of time to check out Gax. Uh, and yeah, see the artwork for yourself. It's here in Tumon, the place at uh, Tumon Bay. That's right at Dusit and Dusit Tani. So you'll never, you won't miss it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna end the video here. Uh, my name is Mark. Peace. I'm out.